Oh. For God's sake. No. <laughs> Something joyful. It started, I thought it was a joke, it started because <coughs> it's not what I do. And you know, we were all alone with COVID and I was in my flat and I was working there and I was painting me. Suddenly thought it might be interesting to paint someone else. And I was seeing a lot of you then. And I thought, well, I'll just see what happens if I do Susie. Yeah. These are hardly portraits. Oh, they are. <laughs> okay. What do you call them? They're not abstract. They're, they're people, they're a person, and there's a likeness. Certainly with the one you really don't like. My best friend's husband, as soon as he saw it, he said, oh, that's Susie Orbeck. I always start with the premise, if you're painting a portrait, although a self-portrait or a portrait actually does not have to look like the subject, obviously, but that was what I wanted to, I wanted to see, because it's not what I do if I could really do that, because I did all these awful life drawing classes for so many years. I'm not aware that you're observing me that when you're talking to me, which is what you're obviously doing, because otherwise you wouldn't be producing this. All right, then. I was trained to do this just like you were trained to be a therapist and I did so much life drawing and all you do is you look at something and when I was painting you and it was odd for me because I never, well, I painted first, the first thing I wanted to see was whether I could actually get a basic physical likeness. Right, and, but I wasn't there for any of these. But can I say something? I did these pictures at home, yeah? So I saw them a lot. And I actually took that one in, I took them all into my bedroom actually, because sometimes you just see something out of the corner of your eye, or very often you just suddenly know what's wrong or what's working. And believe you me, I lived with that for a long time. And uh, Everything that is in it is in it for a reason. I thought about it. You know, the head being slightly disjointed from the body, etc. Um, the body coming off. Everything is there for a reason. And I just didn't want to go on with it because I got it. I think what's interesting about Francis's paintings and drawings is that they're not, they're very fluid and they're not like photographs. They do capture something and some of it I can sort of see as me. But the point is when you look at yourself in the mirror, you're static. And what a painter can do or what Francis can do is to give, give a sense of movement at the same time in a, in a, in a face. Um, I, I mean, I think I find it quite disconcerting, frankly. <laughs> I'm not really upset about the anguish because I think that is how you understand how I spend my days, which is absorbing anguish. Is I do recognise myself. I, not in every single one. I mean, not in the helmet. And yet the eyes are quite sad. Well, they're a little sad, they're a little curious. They're a little, what the hell did you paint me like that for? <laughs> it's kind of like, paint slightly, it's attractive. It's like somebody's having fun out. I don't actually think of it as a cocktail party, but I can see she's got a long neck, so she's got a sort of breakfast at Tiffany's cocktail dress on. And that one, I can't leave something like that. It's ugly, it's not Susie. And then you know what, I, I named it in my head. I don't know whether I should say this. Should I say it? Is it? You'll say it. I just thought it was like the face of greed. This one? Yeah.
think if you are sitting with someone, I think it's not... Well, when you could say for you, because obviously for people who do that, who sit and look at people, that they get something, whereas for you, it wouldn't be right. It wouldn't be right because I don't think you actually, I don't think you get the emotion. I think, you, I think you're more satisfied with a superficial likeness, which is what most people want. What the psychoanalyst in me sees is what doesn't fit together. And my job is to help people fit together. So the fact that the eyes are over there and the nose is skew if and the mouth and the jaw like, they're all like, ah. Part of what I'm trying to do is help that the other or the people I'm working with have some internal integrity. But maybe that's what I'm trying to do with the paint. I'm taking bits of, this is what I learned from doing doing this or doing portraits, you take bits of somebody yeah. that you think you know, think you know, and then you put them together and then you take them apart. And then when do you stop? It is the taking apart and putting it together that you keep breaking it down. And then the image, if it's any good, it will come back stronger and simpler. Build and destroy. Sorry. Build and destroy. When I look at them all, I'm not satisfied. Don't worry, I'm not going to carry on. <laughs> well, that's what it sounds like. No, no, I could. I could. Just sitting here, because I never, I never sit and look at my work like this. You know, and I certainly never talk about it. I wouldn't mind having another bash. Okay, let's stop. Let's stop. Penny, was that okay? <laughs> <laughs>